Leading Indicator 1.6 Students, parents, and community have formal ways to provide input regarding the optimal functioning of the school. This is ranked between the means of 2.5 and 3.5 by all stakeholders. Students were a 3.32, staff a 3.14, and our parents were a 3.44. So one of the things that we have done to help provide optimal feedback for parents is we currently purchase a suggestion box that has been placed in the front office. Also, a link will be provided to our secretary to place on our school website so that those who want to can do it electronically. And we will also provide a link with the weekly parent newsletter so that parents can also provide feedback there using the QR code. A picture of our comment box has been provided as a piece of evidence in our data. A suggestion box has also been provided in the cafeteria for students to provide feedback. For the 23-24 school year, a principal's advisory committee will also be created to help with student feedback. One of the ways that student feedback has been provided for the 22-23 school year has been through the implementation of Capturing Kids' Hearts. We have provided two, a social contract and a social contract with consequences to show how students are providing feedback within their classroom. The students help to develop a social contract creating words with their classroom teacher. On the social contract, each word is discussed and defined among the class and agreed that it is a word that all classmates are willing to implement throughout the school year. Once the social contract has been created and completed, then, teachers, then the teacher and students sign the contract to state that they are in agreement to follow these words on their social contract. Also, a consequence has been placed in the evidence. Also, students have a say in the consequences if they happen to break their social contract. And then the students also sign the consequences to state that they are in agreement and they understand that they will receive a consequence if they break their social contract. One of the ways that we were able to implement and involve parents this year is with campus being open, kindergarten is having a celebration. They will participate in the kindergarten kids singing a couple of songs for their parents and then being able to receive their awards. The way that they involved the parents is they had a celebration planning committee and they sent notes home to the parents inviting them to a planning committee where the parents could be involved in decorating and what kind of activities they would like to do during the celebration. Parents also felt that it was important for them to be heard by their leader. So we have a couple of action plans for the, for the beginning of our 23-24 school year. So action plan for students. In April of 2023, a suggestion box was placed in the cafeteria for students to make suggestions or leave comments about growth and strengths of the school. The suggestion box will be checked bi-weekly for feedback. The feedback will be read and analyzed by the Student Advisory Committee and then taken to the Coalition team for review and implementation. May, there will, May, they will create a staff committee that will create guidelines for the students' participation on the Student Advisory Committee. In August of 2023, the Student Advisory Committee will be selected based on the guidelines created by the student, the staff committee. Student Advisory Committee will be, will meet bi-weekly to review the suggestion box and provide student voice on initiatives being implemented within the building.
We will also have an action plan for parents beginning in April of 2023. A suggestion box was placed on the front in the front office for parents and guardians to make suggestions or to leave comments about growth and strength of the school. May 2023, the school secretary will place a link on our school website so that parents may make suggestions or leave comments using social media. 2023-2024 school year QR code will be placed on the weekly newsletter going out to parents and guardians to provide feedback to the school. A committee will look at feedback given by parents. The feedback will be used then to create parent meetings to gather more information to help support or grow the needs of the building. The results of the data will be shared with parents via parent meetings and social media platforms. So with the use of our suggestion boxes in social media, we are hoping to get more feedback from both students and parents and creating committees so that they have an active voice in the implementation of initiatives on our school campus. This will be an ongoing process throughout the 23-24 school year. We will also use, um, we will gather our newsletters and feedback and show the results as data showing that we have implemented both action plans for both students and parents with Fidelity.